Right, and we're back. So we'll. Uh, I'm going to uh, pick up one more game, and then it's off to bed for me because uh, work in the morning.
And uh, meantime, I'll take this uh, opportunity a bit to uh, promote our uh, Zen LOL subreddit. Which, uh, obviously, it's still starting up, but uh, hopefully, if when uh, we get a little more, a few more things rolling, we'll uh, see some increased activity there.
so here we go into another game and the champion select hunter Antor being the captain for the blue team and DMX512 captain for the purple team hunter Antor wasting no time and starting with that uh, targeted ban of Vi against DMX512 yeah Vi's just been that uh, <coughs> jungler is been quite strong in all of the Zen games, so uh, it just yeah, needed to be abandoned. Yeah, it's an interesting choice to ban that Shaco. That might actually be a targeted ban at her own team since uh Seabon does seem very fond of his Shaco. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that also, so I'm guessing she just generally dislikes the champion of Shaco, so it's probably just yeah, nope, Seabon, you're not getting the champion. Not today. <laughs> And who can blame her? <laughs> Man, Shaco <laughs> is a very annoying champion, very strong if he can get going, but uh, yeah, not uh, not too strong uh, if you don't Once have the team time. for it. Yeah. Um, yeah, typical another typical ban in that Jax for the blue team. So yeah, just ban out that. Don't, don't want to deal with that mid to late game Jax. And a Morgana ban coming through from the blue team as the last ban. Um, yeah, Morgana just um, she's very hard to deal with when you pick an all-in champion. So the champ, um, the supports like great. I'm um, not great, sorry. The supports like Fresh, Leoda, um, Brom. You kind of she negates your all-in really well. So just to make sure that they can get possibly pull those off. Um, yeah, it's just going to ban out that Morgana. I wouldn't be surprised to see a tanky um, support come out here then. Yeah, we see uh, a Yasuo ban as the last one from the purple team. And uh, Hunter Antor preemptively picking Lux. So that's another one of DMX's champions gone. We'll uh, see what she goes for now. Yeah, just nicely taking her away from DMX to make it. taking her off that comfort pick, forcing her into something that she, does, she isn't usual, um, doesn't usually play. And also we see the Yasuo getting banned out from the purple team. We saw how terrifying that was in the top lane against that Shen two games ago. Didn't wasn't on the winning team, but still was a solid performance and just demonstrated why that champion is so strong. Yeah, definitely. And we see uh, some interesting pickups here. DMX going for that uh, Wukong, while uh, Sins opts to get a Mundo. Mundo falling slightly out of favor in the current meta, but uh, still a very tanky, very strong champion. Those cleavers uh, are uh, definitely a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I'll say the same with Wukong also. Like, used to be incredibly strong jungler, but now has slightly fallen out of flavor. Yes. So still, still relatively strong. Still able to do what Wukong and Jungle needs to do, but just not the best pick in terms of the current meta. Yeah, it's 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 interesting though because uh, if we are to believe Night Blue, and since he mains Jungle, I tend to believe him uh, when he makes his uh, his ranked list. But uh, it's it's at least a tier two jungler, especially with uh, the the the, the uh, nerfs that have gone on to uh, to the other junglers. His his kit is very strong it's it's uh he's he's a very slippery jungler and he's able to counter jungle quite hard because of that so it's very very oppressive uh jungler if you know how to play him well mm. well the issue with um leasing i mean not leasing sorry the issue with wukong currently in terms of jungling is that his early game is really weak like um, if you're especially considering the top tier junglers currently if you're an enemy leasing and you have an enemy Sorry, if you're at least in and you have an enemy Wukong, you can easily go into his jungle and be like, Hi, hey, I'm going to invade you, I'm going to take away your jungle, and I'm going to fight you, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. So, just, yeah, the issues with Wukong still are there, but he is still that um, strong mid mid game jungler who's able to come out, EQ you, and ultimate, so then he does a lot of AoE damage. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and in the meantime, we see the blue team pick up uh, a Maokai and a Vayne. Neither of those being very uh, surprising picks, just generally strong champions. And the purple team picking up uh, a Soraka and a Lulu. 
It's being wow. uh, that's going to be an interesting composition there with two fairly tanky champions in Wukong and uh, and Mundo, combined with those uh, well not very heavy on damage support and uh, and mid laner I'd guess. Yeah, I say that I believe that's most likely um, Nulu mid lane. Um, yeah, there's not much damage output coming out from purple team here unless they plan to make it a full AD Wukong. And hopefully, I'm I'm guessing here to, to make best of the team comp currently. Purple team would definitely need to have a hyper carry. They need someone who can basically output damage to um, warrant this really tanky um, mid mundo and uh, free tankiness that um, Lulu gives to any champion. Plus the free HP from Sorako also. There's so much possibility in terms of sustaining in the fight. But it's just that they lack that damage currently, so we'll have to wait to see who this marksman happens to be. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'd be interested to see uh, a Kog'Maw pick uh, coming out here, if not only because uh, we haven't really seen him yet in any of the, the Zen in-house 5v5s so far yet, but uh, it's it's a, I mean, it's a very strong, strong champion. He's the definition of a hyper carry. He's made, his armor and then general tankiness is made out of wet tissue paper, but the damage he outputs at long range is just uh, absolutely insane and in in this composition with two tanks and a lot of heal and peel and everything you would want uh, it would be a very nice uh, option to have a uh, protect the cork more comp uh, composition oh unfortunately oh, it seems that uh, Chibon, Shibon uh, has disconnected so uh, I guess we'll be looking for uh, a new player in that case mm. Yeah, Seaborn electing uh, not to play, uh, not to play on because of his computer troubles. Although in this tournament draft we can do uh, a pause in order to uh, allow him to get back in the game. I suppose he just doesn't want to uh, have the hassle for it.
We seem to have uh, found a replacement player. <laughs> and so, it seems that we're in champion select once again. Yeah, we've got uh, a Morgana ban from uh, Hunter Antor, just going the same route he was uh, previously, I think. Yasuo banned from the purple team right away this time. Definitely, uh, again, an oppressive, uh, yeah. oppressive <laughs> champion. Mm. Vyban, once again the target at, uh, at DMX. Braum coming through for the purple team. Standard fare there. Oh, it's waiting on the last band from blue team here. And it's going to be in the leagues. Well, the least is that typical um, strong jungler who is good throughout the game. So yeah, best to get rid of that and hopefully face against uh, a better option. But it does leave the Evelyn and the Lee Sin open. So if any of these players on purple team can play it, then it might be a valuable pickup for them. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, options still open for the jungle here. Uh, DMX once again does not get her luck, so this kind. Probably looking for a different uh, pickup, probably due to a lonely old lover wanting to uh, have a different role than uh, we, and some other people probably as well. Mm. Oh, this in as I was thinking. Yeah, some interesting hovers here. I suppose we could still see a, a last-minute switch. Yeah, yeah, switching just... to Syndra for uh, DMX probably a better choice in general. Cassiopeia is a very strong champion, but in the in the current state of the game, I suppose she won't uh, do all that much. No, she's just a, for me. Cassiopeia is just a really high, highly um, a high skill cap champion. She requires a lot of good mechanics to play her effectively. So it's best that yeah. You need to be confident with Cassiopeia to play her um, well, so she's definitely not as as not as um, good a pick as Central, where it's not as difficult to play her. And Shingbo falling back to that Lucian once again. This would make it. He's gone two for two so far in terms of whenever he's picked that Lucian, so possibly this can make it um, three for three. Pepper dude hovering over uh, a Shivana pick, but uh, swapping over to uh, Mr. Xin Zhao instead. That's a really interesting pick, because when you pick Xin Zhao, you're definitely going for that early game. You want to output damage and you want to fight people. So that is definitely an interesting pick. It's probably to counteract this early game pressure from Lee Sin also. And when it comes to a 1v1 fight, Zinzao will win, especially if um, Zinzao is able to count gank also in a 2v2 fight, and whether that be top lane or mid lane, Zinzao will still win, because he's out, his damage output is that just that high. Yeah, I mean, Lee Sin does uh, bring a bit more uh, to his team though, with those uh, shields he can throw out to players to uh, hopefully save them uh, some damage. Yeah, definitely. Lee Sin does have... The more, I guess, outplay potential. He's got a lot Guys, more within no. his kit. He's got a lot more within his kit to allow him to, um, he has to be, make more plays and allow him to either disengage or engage. So at least, and definitely, we'll see how the two junglers compare to each other. 
Yeah, it's um, an interesting pickup here uh, to get that Twitch in. Um, I'm not really well. I'm I've, I'm familiar with with Twitch from uh, a friend of mine who mains uh, Twitch actually when he's playing AD carry. But uh, yeah, against uh, a Lucian, I'm not sure how much he will be able to do. It'll be, it will very much depend on uh, the support he gets uh, paired with him. You know, looking at the purple team's team composition, they'll probably be looking for a, a tanky support pickup. And the top mm. lane will be uh, Jax versus uh, our good old friend Singed. Not a champion you see a lot, but uh, the people who do play him uh, usually tend to play him to some effect. Yeah, definitely. You, I rarely, whenever I do see Singed, it's always, oh my gosh, who fed Singed? Why are you constantly chasing Singed? He's never doing, he never does too badly. Because you always see, because he's just able to farm up so so well. So see if they do happen to be um, to be boxing. Boxing, yes, can be negative to a certain degree, but it does allow Singe to be relatively strong also. But yeah, as you predicted, that tanky support down for purple team in, uh, in that fresh. Yeah, we'll have to see if he actually does build tank on trash because uh, as we saw in uh, one of the games yesterday, if you don't uh, pick up the right items for thrash, then uh, he's still not that tanky. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely agree. We saw how when um, I don't want to say his name wrong, but uh, Kagumashi. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but when we saw him on that Ramus playing against that fresh, one single taunt, and it would be fresh was dead because the burst from Lucian would just be too much. Now this time it's different because. Chihop is Chihop is playing Suraka here, so they haven't got that all-in potential that they did before. But they definitely got that sustaining lane, able to just bully this fresh and um, twitch out of lane, and hopefully win that way. So everything now locked in for both teams. It yeah. seems that. Yeah, it's uh, as you say, Waru Kagamusha doing a, a very good job on that uh, Ram of support uh, earlier on uh, in the. Well, uh, I wish I think it was yesterday the game with uh, the Ramos support, but uh, yeah, it, it's definitely uh, the kind of uh, champion that you would uh, want in that situation. Especially in this case, it would have uh, been an interesting pickup, but I I prefer to have the more traditional supports. I'm interested to to see why he picked up that heal though for uh, on that trash. I'd usually go for uh, for an exhaust since you. Well, with your uh, your hook combined with an exhaust, uh, can ensure that you have uh, plenty of time for your AD carry to apply that damage and uh, hopefully get that kill in. But uh, yeah, I guess against the superior uh, laning power from Lucian, it's not a bad pickup. Mm -hmm. I would understand why you would pick kill, probably just to at least survive in lane and not be bullied out too much. But it, with if they're not able to communicate when they're using the heals effectively, then um, if they use it well, well, basically at the same time, then that second summoner heal is going to be reduced by half. So basically, have an ignite to it. So we we'll definitely have to see if they use those heals effectively. Otherwise, it might just be turn out to be a waste of a summoner spell to a certain degree. Um, both top laners opting for TP as per usual. Sins generally does take that ghost and um, Jack taking the flash. And yeah, just standard pickups in terms of um, in terms of uh, summon as well as for all champions here. When you base it on team comps, I'm gonna make a little prediction once again. See if I can go two for two. Um, if we're basing it purely of team comps, not knowing the um, comfortability of these summoners on the champions, I would definitely have to go with. Yeah, so far I'd... I would give the edge to the blue team. They've got some uh, fairly oppressive team champ team uh, fight champions. I mean, if Lux can get her snares off, that can uh, guarantee Lucian to do some damage. You've got the um, healing ulti from uh, Chehop on Soraka there, and uh, well, 
an average boo on his singe will be uh, living crowd control. So, uh, in the team fights, they probably have the edge, but at the same time, we do have that uh, slightly well. The balance is better on this time on the purple team. They've got a better balance between um, single target and uh, team fighting uh, power, basically. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to agree with you on that point. Um, I would give the advantage of a slightly to um, blue team just because of their team comp, but. If Sonic Boom is able to get going on that Twitch, and um, if Lee Sin starts to put out that early pressure that we all know Lee Sin for, then we possibly might see um, Purple Team just take the edge here. Just as we go into loaded steering, we see. Um, Hello, guys. Temporal Cortex here with you. We see. Um, <laughs> only a few skins. So there'll be Celestine Soraka. Um, Jessica Syndra and traditional Lee Sin. Um, Shingbo, we know, doesn't have a skin. So, if we're obviously based on skins. Yeah, so far, definitely the purple team winning on the skin uh, composition there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jessica just, Syndra is just dead and generally awesome, and the Lee Sin, well, basically, I like all of his skins except the Acolyte one. Oh, yeah, I can agree with that. But at the same time, this uh, augmented uh, singed, singed, pretty cool, mm. and the Serustine Soraka looks well. The the um, splash screen looks a lot better than the in-game uh, actual skin uh, for that yeah, champion. That's what, yeah, that's what with a lot of skins there. Uh, Let's uh, <laughs> perfect example would be Dragon Slayer Bavion. Amazing splash art. Not the best model, but then it is League of Legends, so there's not much you can do much about it. I've been uh, notified that uh, the loading screen wasn't sharing. It should be fixed oh, now. Oh, wasn't. Okay. So yeah, I'm interested to see if there'll be early any early invades going on by any teams here. I would doubt it because they haven't got um, that communication yet, but it would definitely be interesting to see. Especially with that fresh, if he does learn hook level one, oh, and, and it we seems start that... with a pause. <laughs> it seems so. Well, that's good for me since now I can uh, set up the little stat screen at the bottom. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, it seems that uh, Shenbo was just uh, not loading. I'm sure he'll come back momentarily. There we go. Let's wait for this unpause now, now that he's able to reconnect to the game. And I suspect um, standard pickups from both teams here in terms of their first items. Um, Singe most likely going for their crystalline flask. Uh, Jack's going for that. I would like to say Dawn's Blade, but he might go for. It would be better if he goes Dawn's Blade just for the early damage up. But let's see, since he hasn't got too much to worry about because of that sin. So yeah, the Dawn's Blade being picked up by him and the pot. So that's to be expected. Yeah, the only person I would potentially have. Uh... I would like to say... Um. The so only we have person I would have potentially expected to uh, maybe change something up was uh, that singed. I could see him starting uh, with a cloth armor. Yeah, but because, yeah, I understand why he would still go with that faster. Because of the lack of um, damage output from Jack's early game, he's going to be like, okay, yeah, let me just use the Crystalline fast to survive this early game. And then once I start getting building that Rod of Ages, I'll be able to just be that extreme annoying tank that everyone loves me for and yeah both teams just standing by their red buffs just defending it yeah there's an interesting point being made by uh, an average boo here in the the team chat well the old chat actually um, as he's saying these games are helping him uh, improve loads and that uh, I can see why because in these games you get a, a, a nice mix of uh, skill levels 
and uh, you get the opportunity to play both with and against players who uh, are potentially higher ranked than you so uh, mm. it's a very nice way to engage, increase your skill level definitely definitely it's just especially since there are now vods that we're creating with these streams um you can take if you really wanted to analyze your play oh okay, obviously it wouldn't be specifically honing on you but you could see how generally you performed within a game so and obviously when we're commenting on players we'll see what you can do better and what would have been better for you at the time so yeah definitely if you're looking to improve um, analyzing your own play and also just looking through the vods to see how you've done in these games then uh, just basically, uh, basically be on your way yeah it's interesting to see a, a more traditional start from the Lee Sin starting the red buff I uh, haven't really seen a, a lot of Lee Sin's uh, do that in the current uh, meta yeah when Lee Sin is starting red buff it's either he's going for that early invade or he's going for a level 2 gank and as you can see yeah he's going for that early invade he wants to fight the Sin Tao early I wouldn't recommend it because, as I said before, Zinzao is an incredibly strong um, dueler early. But as you can see, he is um, going to wait for him at his blue buff. Oh, this is it. Yeah, here we go. I'm just going to uh, override the directed camera for this. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, Lee Sin, Lee Sin definitely yeah, applying more damage here. Zinzao really has to run for his life. Flashes. Ah, but he flashes wrong. He tries to flash over the wall, but uh, doesn't hit it. Yeah, that was not the best flash, so more... He knew he was dead there. He should have just um, left his flash, left it for the next time he might have needed it, and just taken the death like a man. So yeah, Lee Sin with a really nice tactic to early invade that um, Sin's out there, just able to outdraw him. Uh, to my surprise, personally. Definitely to my surprise. A very nice exchange for Jax in the top lane. He had hit that uh, level 3 early, so uh, he was able to uh, capitalize on uh, the new abilities to put some damage down on Singed. And now um, Lee Sin is coming back into the um, Xin Zhao's jungle, but um, Xin Zhao suspecting that Lee Sin was there. Now this is going to be a fight for who can get this blue buff. Sin doesn't have smite up, so... And unfortunately, an early smite by Pepe dude here, so it just allows Lee Sin to take that blue buff for free without any repercussions, um, because Sin's just incapable of um, heading down to help his um, jungler. So yeah, Lee Sin just denying this Xin Zhao by so much. He's not even allowing him to do walls, and he just constantly wants to fight him. I believe it's because um, Xin Zhao has taken 80 runes here, so he's definitely um, winning when it comes to the damage out um, the Bartman here. And now, yeah, he's got that second kill, uh, second kill onto Zintao, especially since Zintao doesn't have that flesh anymore. So just three kills for the Zintao here. I mean, for the Lee Sin here. Just bullying that um, Zintao of his own jungle. And Zin still has those five pots. So you can see how much pressure this Lee Sin has had over him. He's just simply not able to clear that well. Or that much, sorry. He was able to pick up that quill coat though. It seems that he is opting for a more tanky um, Zin Zhao, especially in this early game. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, bot lane in terms of the Soraka and Lucian on the blue team definitely seem to be pressuring uh, Power Sport team quite a lot, as suspected, with the heals from Soraka and uh, Mana Sustain. Yeah, and in the in the general uh, view of things, the purple team seems to be getting uh, a bit ahead. They yeah, are this uh, Lee Sin making spinning. a gold lead, and indeed, as you said, Lee Sin being a very oppressive uh, presence in the in the blue jungle. So with those early two kills that Leeson was able to pick, he's gone for that Spirit Stone straight into the double longsword. So now he's got that early damage, and once he finishes that old lizard, he's going to start looking to pressure all lanes and just try snow, gain a massive lead and snowball uh, the game. Yeah, there's an interesting pickup here by uh, by Sin Zhao going for that uh, quill coat. I've, I've actually, uh, I don't really know a lot about that item yet. I haven't uh, tried it out myself. But uh, 
as I can see it now, it's uh, it's apparently allowing you to play some wards. So that's uh, an interesting pickup there. That does allow um, you to get that uh, sweeper early on. Yeah. Um, normally, gen generally, you would not want to pick um, Coco onto Zinzao because Coco is basically for tanky junglers that can't clear that well. For tanky junglers that can't clear that well, um, Spirit of Stone does not help them as much because Spirit of Stone is based on how much damage you deal to champions, allowing you to sustain back. I mean, not to champion, to jungle um, creeps. To allow you to, and unfortunately, there's a fight in mid lane where Lee Sin was counter jungling, and then Lux happens to walk into him, and then they just pick up the free kill on that, um, Lux there. So Syndra going really aggressive, able to just um, do a lot of damage to that Lux, so that Lee Sin can finish off and pick up another free kill. Yeah, they're definitely uh, looking to keep on fighting here, but the blue team uh, now massing up some more people to uh, hopefully get these invaders out of their jungle. Meanwhile in the top lane uh, another exchange happening but this time uh, Singed seems to be winning it. Yeah that's going to be a kill for Singed. So, uh, yeah. That's Let's exactly go. what he needed really. Yeah Flesco was just got bullied out of that and he didn't need to fight he just he should have just fallen back but yeah he got Basically, he wasn't suspecting, suspecting the damage up what that Singe was able to um, put out and just underestimated Singe right there. So average we were picking up a free kill and now just charging up that tier. But this Lee Sin just constantly within Zinzao's jungle just taking any any scrap of um, gold that um, Zinzao could possibly get and just denying it from him. This is a nice, nice E, um, QE by DMX here. Ooh, does not... Yeah, he, it's, a, a it's a fair trade, but uh, yeah. in the end, it's well played by Lux, since uh, this way she does get more gold out of it. Mm. It's not a lot, but that is the kind of uh, damage that... Well, the kind of gold uh, advantage that you want to have, especially if your uh, team is starting to fall behind. These are the kinds of plays that you want to make to... Uh, hopefully get back in the uh, mid and uh, late game. Indeed. So yeah, this is as expected down for the blue team in the bot lane. Um, yeah, Soraka with her heals and Lucian's early damage just going to be able to push out um, this bot lane from purple team and just force them to go um, back constantly. And now we see Lee Sin once again contesting Zinzao at his blue buff. He's using that ultimate to kick Lee Sin away from it and think that he didn't really intend to do that so now he's and then he flashes over and misses the Q in the blue box so now since I was actually able to turn this and because it is in, um, singed helping out he was able to survive and now they secured the blue buff for himself so helping Zinza come back into this game at least a little bit yeah that's definitely a smart choice by the blue team to uh, to tell that Lee Sin that uh, they know what he's doing and they don't like it yeah, definitely. Just to stop him from being that oppressive jungler that he's demonstrating that he can be. Another interesting nice. exchange uh, in, the min in the mid lane. Antor pricking up a lot of damage, but uh, the alt exchange eventually uh, evening up the damage uh, on both champions. Indeed. Well, the turns that... Um Cinder's going to come out ahead of that because of the fact that Lux was able to receive that Wish from um, Soraka, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's the uh, yeah. the ultimate. The ultimate wish. So yeah, because he was able to receive that wish from Soraka, he was able to just uh, have more HP to stay in lane. Ooh, and now, very nice yeah. exchange by the blue team, picking up a triple kill on that Lucian. Very nice. Uh, that'll definitely get them uh, a bit ahead. So yeah, Shengbo picking up those killers that he loves to get on his Lucian allowing him to just gain a lead and then constantly just pressuring the enemy bot lane so that he can keep fighting them and keep getting more and more kills now that Singe I mean Jax lost his ultimate, Singe is able to just go on to this Jax here plus um, Zinzao being nearby and now it's picked up themselves up an easy kill Zinzao picks up that kill really necessary on him because he does need to gain back some of the gold that he's lost in the past um, few minutes
Oh, 10 minutes of this game, sorry. Yeah, as we can see from the the gold totals, he's now only 200 gold behind uh, the Lee Sin. So uh, he's definitely uh, getting a good comeback out of that kill. But in the meantime, Lee Sin looks to be uh, picking up a dragon for his team, or at least attempting to do so. But uh, we see the blue team Shemper collapsing on that, locked, so... Yeah. Yeah. They don't have a smite in terms of blue team, so yeah, they do. Uh, they are able to pick that up since it is only Lucian and Lux. But they might, um, blue team might look for more here to see if they can actually make a come uh, get an advantage. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I apologise for the buzz on my microphone, but my uh, my headset is out of power, so I have to hook Indeed. it up to the uh, electricity. Yeah. And. An average brew going fairly aggressive into this Jax, but decides not to tower dive. Yeah, at the same time, the the fact that he's pressuring uh, the top lane, and uh, the fact that no purple team champions were uh, available to uh, save that middle tower, did mean an easy pick up for the blue team. That middle uh, middle tower, getting an some more gold brew. on them. This Going straight onto the tower, be toying, uh, waiting for the perfect moment to just flip them. Um, Trip the enemy jacks and just keep taking the wall. Well. Uh, quite an easy kill. Yeah, and another very nice combo by uh, Hunter Antor with the Lux managing to get that snare and immediately, without hesitation, blowing that ultimate in order to uh, blow up DMX on the Syndra. And that cause allows now um, Blue Team to just take a uh, objective in terms of the uh, tier two uh, mid um, tower, which is actually quite significant at 30 minutes into the game. So as we look across the board in terms of items, J um, Jack's building that Blade of the Ring King uh, to try to deal, I guess, with the mass amount of health that Sin he knows that Sinch will be having when it comes to this mid-game. So uh, rushing that early Blade of the Ring King, especially since it is the cheaper option to this um, uh, to the Triforce, since he is behind. Yeah, and... Uh... Since he's picking up uh, a blasting wand there, and they seems to be engaged on in bot lane. There seems to be a four-man gank with a Tim Jesse TP also coming up. The flash couch like does fail from Flexico here, and it seems that Lucian is able to turn here as his whole team is coming down. Now this is blue team. Yeah, it's a very hey, nice teleport in by uh, by Singed. Definitely doing what he does best, pressing people, forcing them uh, out of the exchange, and allowing his team to uh, pick up the pieces. Yeah, since um, it took since it took um, Pearl team so long to fi try attempt to finish off that Lucian, they just chased for so long and allowed um, Blue team to um, I'm sorry, I've forgotten a word here. Just to allow them to regroup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah allow them to regroup. <laughs> and I just, yeah, managed to make a messy skirmish down in bot lane and turn it into their favour. Wow. English. <laughs> <laughs> I, I blame it on the night. <laughs> it's late. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was another very nice uh, mop up by the blue team. Mm. And uh, I'm not sure if you saw it, but uh, there was a very nice save on with that uh, heal. Yeah, that heal went to Sid when he was about to take that last out shot. Not sure about this aggression from Jax here, jumping into, f um, into basically three members of the blue team. Oh, it wasn't the best decision he could have had, especially since he is already, uh, or was already 0 to 4, now 0 to 5. And since he is their purple team and our man down, um, blue team are just able to have a lot more pressure once again. Nice stun by DMX here. She will try to um, kill Sing Bo, but yeah, he's able to survive and then out turn around his own damage onto them. So yeah, that's just another two kills for um, the blue team here. 
Yeah, and that's a very impressive lead for this blue team. They've now got a 9k gold advantage and 5 towers to zero, so uh, I think we'll be seeing a quick uh, a quick game here. This will probably be a quick ending, unless the purple team somehow manages to uh, start team fighting very well, but as we said before the in the champion select, the purple team has pretty much got, got you know, that single target power, but they don't have the team fighting potential that this blue team has. You can see it here again. Jack's going in, trying to make something happen. His team does go in with him, but uh, no kills picked up. It's, uh, yeah, well, one kill picked up here, a shutdown, and another. But uh, yeah, Syndra pays for it with her life. And the team yeah. goes down. This is just. This yeah. is a very convincing uh, performance here from the blue team. Just able to take the advantage that they got early game. Aside from the Zinza, um they were, yeah, they're able to just take the advantage that they got in lanes and just pressure it into team fighting ability, and they're now just pushing for many and many, many objectives. Now they're attempting to push the top lane there. I think um, Shembo and the others just need to back and. <coughs> back and buy with the gold that they've managed to gain over the past few minutes. They are looking to pressure these golems though, that at least in attempt to take. Singe was waiting, but because of his low HP, oh, he does manage to survive even outside of the sun. But this is a 4v2, so I think they would like to fall back. Yeah, they but at could... the same time, the purple team has no idea where the blue champions are, so they are not able to uh, to follow up see that they are all very low HP after a very nice ultimate from uh, Lucian. Mm. He managed to apply quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, at this point it's it's very hard for the blue team to decide on uh, how exactly they should capitalize on, on this, uh, this win they have. Well, I mean, capitalizing on it just means team fighting a lot and uh, trying to get more towers in this case because they are really unable to do Baron at this low level and, uh, well, the dragon has just respawned but... Uh, for the for the time the for the time being when they were making that push it was not up yet so it was basically the only option they had mm. um the main issue with pushing is that it's incredibly difficult when champions are under these towers they've managed to complete what is really necessary in terms of closing our game they've managed to get an inhibitor Inhibitors are incredibly important. So if you're able to get down the first inhibitor, then you can just walk what's in, push down the inhibitor, then they've got super minions rolling down in that mid lane. So then because of the super minions, you're able to have um, constant pressure in the mid lane in this case, and then go down to bot lane and start pressuring that tower. So they will be forced to send someone down to the mid lane. So then you can force a 4v5 fight, especially with the advantage that they've already got, that they'll almost definitely mean they'll win the fight. So yeah, best way to close out the game is definitely to make sure that you attempt to get those inhibitors. Once you get inhibitor down, it makes um, winning so much easier. Yeah, definitely. And now they're uh, basically doing a textbook material. Oh, very nice snare there from Hunter Antor. Yeah, that's yeah. another kill for Lucian. As I was about to say, they've definitely uh, managed to close it out really well. They're uh, picking up the blue buff, making sure that uh, there's not a lot uh, left for the purple team to uh, to pick up in their own jungle. Now they can just uh, siege up and uh, try to end this game. That was oh, really that nice. Was really nice. Again, a very nice snare from Hunter Antor. Well, fortunately, blue team don't have the minions here to be taking these Nexus towers. I think that what they would best want to do is try and rotate to this bot lane and then push down that inhibitor, and then they can probably focus on winning. But because purple team was so distracted and killing that singed, they were um, blue team were able to get down the Nexus tower, which is really good and really necessary for them to close out this game. Yeah, it was a very nice timing by Singed. I, I guess he saw the blue minion wave approaching and thought, well, I'll do something stupid to uh, buy some time for my team. Uh, they're going, blue team going very low here though, but uh, yeah, the 
there's a very nice team play going on here, saving uh, Lucian. Wow. Yeah, both teams are just going in one by one. So because of um, blue team's lead, they're able to just um, finish them off quite easily. Let's see when every um, every member on purple team, blue team is focusing one member of the purple team. So yeah, it's quite convincing fights here for blue team, just being able to whittle them down one by one. And there goes the Himpter once again. Yeah, and in, in fact, the fact that uh, both Lucian and uh, Sin Zhao died is actually not that much of a bad thing for uh, the blue team, since that means that those champions get to uh, spend the gold they've managed to pick up over the last few minutes. So we see a Sunfire Cape come out from Sin Zhao for even more of an uh, oppressive uh, presence, and uh, a BF Sword, and uh, a pickaxe for uh, Lucian. Yeah, it's spilled into that eye. It's just to uh, round off the damage output that he's doing with this build. Yeah, it's just finishing off that core. And those core items that he likes. Um, um, that Shengo likes, sorry. Shengo. A bit of a, a lull in activity here as uh, we see the purple team try to uh, get at least any farm they can take. Yeah, this is our only chance. Well, um... <clears throat> While Blue Team have relieved a bit of the pressure that they've had, they want to try to gain as much, uh, although little, but as much farm as they possibly can. Uh, try to clear out the jungle, try and make sure it's warded, so they can actually see where the, um, where the Blue Team are. Now this is actually Jack's being really out of position, because Purple Team, I mean Blue Team could have easily gone out to catch him out, but they've preferred to go down for this Nexus Tower. Yeah, it's a good choice by Lux to uh, try and push him out of that lane, because if, I mean, Jax is a champion that's very strong, even though he doesn't have that much items, he can still uh, do an, a very effective split push. We can see here in the, the middle, well, <laughs> in the purple base actually, a very nice exchange on the blue team, picking up another triple kill on Lucian. As we, we said before, this uh, is definitely favoured for the blue team since they were able to uh, get those team fights and they have a street stronger team fight composition. Indeed. So that's uh, the Nexus turn going down and uh, this will be the GG. Will we see a do double explosion? Yes yeah, we will! <laughs> very timely surrender there. Mm. But yeah, very convincing win by the blue team man. Very convincing. The Sengbo is showing how good he is on that Lucian. Such a comfort pick for him. So, who uh, do you nominate for the MVP award this game? Personally, I'd have to go with uh, with Lux. Those very nice uh, snare combinations, just at the right times, combined with uh, full blast ultis. Yeah, definitely. She, she there was a few key plays from this Lux, which allowed her to. First of all, assist the Zinzao after being destroyed in the early game, and just you know generally get herself fed so he could actually be a well was a quite a strong factor within these team fights. So definitely, um, definitely a worthy, um, worthy MVP in this game. Oh my lord, <laughs> tired this. <laughs> yeah, this will. Uh, this has been my last game casting as well. I'll uh, reset the stream to get uh, the latest VOD up and. Uh, Heading off to bed. Alright then. <laughs>